Hi, I'm Chris Hinkle with CR Sotheby's International Realty here at my beautiful new listing in Olympic Valley. It's at 261 Palisade Circle, Olympic Valley. Let's go on inside and take a look. All righty, here we go. If you were just to come in the front door, this is this beautiful entry that you would see. So much natural light, it's crazy. So, all right. So if, say if I just came in through the front door, I do usually come in through the garage, but if I did come in the front door, I'd be coming up these stairs to this gorgeous great room. It is just beautiful. It's huge and it can accommodate a whole gang of skiers. Look at this kitchen, oh my God. Six burner, 36 inch gas range is the bomb dishwasher all the appliances are built in there's a wine fridge oh my god it is just gorgeous island with a waterfall edge all of these quartz countertops it's really um easy durable surfaces so you don't have to worry about scuffing them this great room is just gorgeous it would feel comfortable with with a lot, with maybe a dozen people, but it also feels cozy with just two. If you just, two people came up, it wouldn't feel too overwhelmingly large. That glass wall over there is completely slides open. So in the summertime, it's like having the outdoors inside because the whole wall would be open. It's just gorgeous. So on this deck right here, there's a beautiful hot spring spa that's a high-end spa in perfect condition. This house is in like new condition, even though it's only about two years old. It's a four bedroom, four and a half bath house. It's about 2,800 square feet. They're asking only 2.750, which is less than $1,000 a square foot, fully furnished. If you want to build a new house these days, it's gonna cost you around $1,000 a square foot to get a house of this caliber, and that is not even including the land or the time it would take to get a builder because it's difficult to get a builder nowadays. This is the half bath. So on this level, the upstairs level, there is one bedroom, which is the master bedroom. So here it is, vaulted ceilings, loads of natural light, Here's the bathroom, double vanity, huge walk-in shower, of course a toilet closet, has a walk-in clothing um, closet right there. All right, again, you can have access to the outdoor deck upstairs right here. In the summertime, you wanna sit out there or the wintertime, you can have a view of painted rock which is gorgeous mountain right there. This, this place is so close to trails. I'm a big mountain biker. And in the summertime, you can just go right across the street and get on the Western States Trail, go up to Painted Rock. There are all sorts of options for mountain biking from the door of this house. And then in the, if you're a road biker, you can just go up Squaw Valley Road. You can go all the way around Lake Tahoe from here. If you just want to hop on a cruiser bike, there's a paved bike path going into Palisades Tahoe. Or you can take that paved bike path to Tahoe City, say in the summertime. You can, it's, it's relatively level. You can take the kids on their bikes and go to Tahoe City and have an ice cream, dip in the lake and come back home. It's a great place. It's a great base camp for all of your Tahoe outdoor fun. Okay, so now I'm on the lower level. This is bedroom number two. There's four bedrooms, remember. They're all en suite, meaning they all have their own bathroom. This one is just set up as a, has a single bed in here because they have a couple of kids and they just put them in single beds, but you could easily have a double or, a, I mean, a queen or a king bed in here. Here's bathroom number two or two and a half, I guess. Big walk-in shower. Mountain modern design. The floor is just gorgeous. There's a little drop zone alcove. 
Okay, this is bedroom number three. Again, they have it set up just for their daughter. They just have two young children, so you could easily, again, have a queen or a king bed in this room. They have it set up just as a twin, but it's a double vanity with, this bathroom has a beautiful, deep, deep cast iron tub in it. Okay, that was bedroom number three. And now we're going to bedroom number four. It already has a king size bed in it. I like these lights, they're on motion, motion sensors. So it has a beautiful, huge shower. Another vanity. This, this bedroom has access to this outdoor deck. It's a nice size deck. And then as a bonus space, here is a family room, which you could set this up as a fifth bedroom, sort of. I mean, you could put a, a sleeper sofa in here and potentially some a curtain up here or something, or even a, a wall if you wanted to, to make it the fifth bedroom. But um, you could easily have that set up to accommodate more guests if you wanted to. So it could kind of work out as a five bedroom house if you wanted to. So this is the way that I came in from the garage right here. So if you're coming in from the garage, oh, this is a nice big garage with a lot of storage in here. They have bikes and tools. So if you're coming in from the garage, you have this big drop zone. All, everybody gets their own cubby with their boots and their jackets. This also has access to the outdoor deck. Has a nice big laundry room, laundry area with a sink. Loads of storage in here. All right. So now we are going to pop back upstairs here. So it's, it's so great to have this place because you can, you can, once you get here, you never need to get in your car again because Palisades Tahoe has what's called the Mountaineer. It's a free shuttle. You dial it up on your app and they will come pick you up right in front of your front door with your skis and your ski boots or in the evening, they will take you out to dinner over in the village and there's great restaurants over there. So you never need to get in your car again once you get here. The same thing, you could have your kids picked up, driven over to the resort. Don't even need to worry about driving in the snow or parking because I will drop you off right up front. It is really the base camp, the jumping off point for all kinds of outdoor activities. Yeah. If you'd like a tour <laughs> of this home or a personal tour of it, just feel free to give me a call. I've lived here over oh, 45, probably coming up on 50 years. I know the area pretty well. This is a great place to have a house. It's a great house as your base camp for all of your Tahoe activities. My name is Chris Hinkle. I'm with Sierra Sotheby's International Realty, and you can reach me at 530-412-2644. I hope you're having a great day out there. Maybe it's snowing where you are. It is snowing here and it is May, but that's just how it goes in the mountains. All right, I hope to hear from you. Bye-bye.